Good morning and happy Friday, everyone. It's September 10th. And before we head to the weekend, let's have a look at pound yen in the daily chart. Uh, well, I know the pair has been in a quiet trading this week, but I think there are still some interesting uh, things we still need to watch here. Uh, specifically, the price has been uh, stubbornly pushing for a break above the key resistance trend line, which has been rejecting bullish actions over the past three months. And uh, that is currently increasing speculation that any close higher from here could result in a rapid upturn since the 50% uh, Fibonacci of 152.25 and the surface of the Chimoku cloud are also around the same location. Uh, well, technically, a break above this trend line uh, is likely given uh, today's encouraging positive momentum in the price, as well as the uh, positive signal from the RSI, which uh, has refused to drop below its 50 neutral mark and instead is uh, trying to uh, print fresh higher highs below its 70 overbought mark. So uh, the market doesn't look overbought at the moment. And and uh, although the MACD is still muted around its zero signal lines, it managed to enter the uh, positive area. So uh, it seems that an upside breakout is currently in favor. And if this materializes, uh, the price could aggressively rise up to the 61.8% uh, Fibonacci of 153.64. If we move even higher from here, we may probably uh, see some uh, see a sideways move uh, between uh, the 78.6% Fibonacci of 154.43 and the 154. 5.14 resistance area before we touch the top of 156.06. Uh, now, if technical signals prove false and the price reverses lower instead, uh, the 38.2% Fibonacci and the 20-day uh, moving average uh, could cancel any additional declines around 151.35. Uh, if they give uh, if they give way, however, I wouldn't get much worry because uh, the pair could still create a new higher low around the long-term supportive trend line drawn from the uh, 2020 lows, uh, or at least around the 23.6% uh, Fibonacci, slightly lower at. 150.24. Uh, then a move below from here would uh, bring the downtrend from the 156.06 peak back under examination and therefore uh, raise selling interest. But uh, probably traders will wisely wait for a confirmation below the 200-day uh, moving average and the strong support around 149.50 before they target July's low of 148.45. So that's all from me this week. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, have a great weekend.